Welcome to Baalbek, Lebanon. This ancient city is the reason why I traveled to Lebanon in the first place, and I'm about to show you why in this documentary. Its fascinating history dates back at least 8,000 years, and it's home to some of Lebanon's best ancient ruins. The Temple of Bacchus, the Temple of Venus, the Temple of Jupiter. If you're a history buff like me, you'll lose your mind here. Then, I'm taking you to eat one of Baalbek's culinary specialties, a savory lamb pie called Sfiha. They are the best lamb pies of my life. They're rich and meaty, with a crispy, buttery crust and lots of garlic. Are you salivating yet? You know what? Forget the rest of this intro. Let's just go to Baalbek right now. Good afternoon everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Baalbek, Lebanon. One of the best places in the world to see ancient Roman temples. The city is located two hours east from Beirut and here we're going to see ancient Roman temples and then after this we're going to go have some of the best pies in the country, Baalbek lamb pies. So Nico, the first temple right outside the complex here is the temple of Venus, Venus god of love and fertility. All the architecture, all the stones have uh, stuff in it to show love and fertility. We're gonna see more temples inside. Let's go. This area has been inhabited since ancient times, right? Thousands and thousands of years. Eventually, Alexander the Great came through here and then it was colonized by the Romans. So the price for foreigners is 15. So whatever that is right now, I think it's less than a dollar, right? And 10, 10 for Lebanese. We're gonna enter the big courtyard where they used to make the masses, sacrifice the animals, make big uh, celebrations. They have the altar in the middle. This is the big courtyard, one of the biggest in Lebanon. So this is the entrance to one of the temples? So this is the entrance, the hexagonal entrance. They used to gather here and here is the big courtyard place for all celebrations, ceremonies. As you enter, you can see massive stone bricks, right? It's all sandstone, right? Yeah, they, oh, so it's a mixture. Yeah, they, they used to mix stones. The, the first people who built this uh, used the local stones. Then the Romans, uh, they were trading with other uh, cultures for stones. They used to give them something and take some better stones. So they used many stones. Look at the size of these walls. So thick ginormous so this is a door right yeah, here is the courtyard we were talking about right it's massive so it's all ruins you have some parts where it goes really deep and then over there just like more and more stones and what's that like, I guess an altar right that's, that's what we're talking altar. about yeah it was in the middle people would gather here huge amounts of people this was a big Roman uh, city people would gather here in large amounts watch the ceremony eat feast drink wine chill yeah that's it and then and to the left and the right we have two different temples right and over there another temple so mo yep. multiple temples on these grounds we have the the biggest one standing Bacchus temple but here we had a bigger one but it's mostly fallen only a few columns left this is the Jupiter temple so all the columns that you see around the courtyard were just internal structure this is not part of the temple so you can see multiple columns over here a few in the middle like two or three on that side and over here we have two beautiful ones. Look at this, what a massive structure. It's incredible. Huge marble columns, absolutely incredible. And over there to the left, you see all the snow-capped mountains, right? Beautiful mountains right behind. And inside you still see some snow that's still here from like last week, right? So luckily for us, we didn't get here with snow because if it's snowing here, you probably won't see any of the structure. It's the Temple of Jupiter. They built it on a, on this higher platform. The, as you can see there, it has the guard towers to look, overlook the area, the whole area in front of them. This structure to build uh, the structure upon are one of the heaviest trucks in the, the whole world. So it's crazy how they lift it up, uh, lift, it, lift them up to here. This is some sort of mystery still. I mean, I've never seen columns this big. Dude, not even in the Parthenon. Nowhere in the Roman world have I seen them this big. They're massive and the rocks right here look at this look you see some of the big ones in the bottom i mean they are easy wider than me so probably like eight feet in width wow and right in front we have the temple bacchus huge structure so once you finish exploring the grounds of the temple of jupiter make your way down this stairway and you get to the temple of bacchus so here we can see most of our uh, top stones have these lions which symbolizes power 
and they act like gargoyles first project water off the roof and then like keep the evil spirits away they're like scared open mouths to scare away the three of the biggest stones they are almost uh, as big and heavy as the the stones of the Egyptian pyramid so it's also mysterious how they they use such big stones to lift them to construct such a temple I mean, how was it transported here look at that that wasn't here they brought that here yeah you can probably it's easy to move it but it's heavy it's dif difficult to lift it so all of the sculptures here symbolize wine and the god of wine so they sculpted like uh, grapes all over right grapes and vines everywhere on the temple of Bacchus amazing that's just impressive amazing mostly they uh, they carved here on the on the door the stuff the the Romans used to plant all around the area the vines the some wheat you can see all the plants here being carved so they used to like come here to Baalbek to get their wheat get their gra grapes so th it was like I'm coming to Baalbek to collect my agriculture all right guys we're done with the temples that was amazing one of my favorite roman sites of all time incredible and now we're off to get some pies some or meat pies and they're squares right yeah squares you can add pomegranate molasses on top no way everything with pomegranate molasses is extra delicious super sweet Just all right guys let's go let's go meat pies no 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 So this is Lucky's Farm. It's a beautiful modern building. It's a huge restaurant. They have a few different sections. So we're gonna eat the Sviha. So that's what we came here for. But they also have the butcher section. Here they have from farm to fork. They have poultry and then they have breakfast. I love it. Huge ceilings, right? 20 foot ceilings. Beautiful modern building. Beautiful. It's like uh, Sviha Wonderland. Sviha Wonderland. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's your name? Yara. 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 Pleasure, Yara. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. So we're gonna see the Sviha? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Wow. All right, guys. Flour, water to make the dough, lamb meat, tomatoes, and onions for the Haida. They make them into squares, as you can see here. Fast production. We gotta serve some sweethearts. Best behind in town. It's an amazing assembly line. So you have four guys going non-stop. This guy's making them into balls. Yeah. This guy's flattening. 24, 24 hours. 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah? Come here. yeah. Wow. The morning. 24 hours open? Yes, you here. Come here at hours. four in the morning? Yes. No way. Here in Stura branch. Amazing. Yes. Okay, I I'm excited. I need to have one of these like right now. Yes. I'm starving. It's loaded, Nico. Look at that, guys. How many? They just came straight out of the oven. Amazing. Look at this. Delicious. Beautiful. Wow. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. So everything is from your farms. Yes. Nothing is yes. is outsourced, Even right? Even products, vegetables, uh, meat, everything. Here we go. Super fresh, straight out of the oven. Mm. Very delicious. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. The lamb. Mmm. The onions. The bread super soft. Same time a little crispy on the outside. Yes. I'm blown away. This is the best meat pie of all time. Super juicy, nice and moist. Mmm, it's still really hot. And here we go, straight into the kitchen. Let's see them bake them. And that's how it's done, right? So they just roll them out, and put the lamb in, throw them into bake. It takes like five minutes, then it comes out, puts them here, lets them sit. Then when the orders come in, the guy puts them onto the plate and they go out to eat. Very simple, and this is just one of the branches. They do 650 kilos a day right here in this one branch. Amazing. Guys, thank you. He wants to be famous. A very skilled worker. Look, look how fast. It's amazing. Here, I just heard them, they don't, you don't buy by piece, you buy by kilograms. One, two, three kilograms. On the go, man. That was like incredible. <laughs> yeah. Shokra, yeah. my friend. You're famous now. Hello. Oh, hello. Go. Yes. Fat is fiha, fat is fiha with yogurt. Here's some ghee, nuts on top, and a bit of garlic maybe with the yogurt. Feel. Wow, look at this fiha. So you have like eight different fihas here. You have some nuts, you have yogurt, and clarified butter, right? 
Is this good in here? Is it hot? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, so good. Crunchy. Mmm. And nice and cold yogurt. Wow, just get it in like that. How many can I eat? All of them. Delicious. You like it? Love the yogurt. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Ah. So good. So nutty. Mm-hmm. With a parsley, right? Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love. Fadis Fiha is our signature in Balbik branch. Soon it will be in Zahli and Stura. This is the best yogurt I've ever had. Yeah, man. So Amazing. It's like it's creamy, but it's still very liquidy. It's phenomenal. We have the products from our own farms and factories, our meat from our own slaughterhouse. Everything in this place is organic and related to our farms and factories, our own ones. The reason why I think it's the best yogurt of all time is that I literally forgot all the rest, but this one is so good. Wow, nice and light. Mm. Oh yeah. Or the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Nice you. Thank you. you. Pleasure. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. And that is it, my friends. We saw Baalbek, the Roman temple's incredible historical ancient site. And then we came here to Lakis Farm to have Fiha. Yep. Oh That's my it. gosh. What a delicious pie. One of the best lamb pies of all time. Super nice, crispy, bite sized. We also had it with yogurt. Oh, so good. Man, I am so impressed with this place. Yeah. Baalbek, what a must. Amazing. Oh, amazing, though. Amazing place. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere in Lebanon. Let's go. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Lebanon. Today I'm taking you on the road between Beirut and Baalbek to visit two towns, Shtuda and Zahe. We're gonna be visiting some of the major attractions here and eating lots of incredible food. We're starting off with breakfast at Letri Masabke. They, they make the best Lebni, goat Lebni, halloumi cheese, arishe, which is like a cream. So this is the first spot right here. So you're, you're from this area, right? Yeah, this is my hometown right next to it. This is my hometown and I love the Lebni here. Here we go, it's called Masakba. Masakbi. Hello, hello. Yes. Bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. The best Lebni sandwich maker. Yeah, he makes the best. He has the best hands for the Lebni. This is uh, the, uh, the thinnest bread we have, Maru, we call it. They, they make it so thin on a sausage uh, oven. Oh wow. And so what cheese is this? This is goat labne. Labne made from goat goat milk. Goat labne. Goat, goat milk turned into a Saudi yogurt. Okay, so cucumber? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Holy, holy, go. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Zatar. Oh amazing. So some thyme. Zatar, olive oil, pepper. Mint, dried mint. Oh, it's dried mint. Yeah. mint. Nice. Even tastier. Yeah. Wow, what a beautiful sandwich. So he just rolls it up, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 They always wrap it, right? This is a different one. This is Arisha. Arisha Oh, lots of honey. Yeah. Overload of honey. Of course. So good. Oh! This guy's sending me kisses and stuff. <laughs> it's so funny. Man, that's the sweet one, huh? Yeah. And now, halloumi cheese. You know what? Can I try one? Can I try a little piece? Yeah, do. Yalla, cool. Yalla, yalla? Yalla, yalla. It's less salty than the rest. Mmm. Mmm. It's like mozzarella. It's amazing. Yeah. He's the cousin of my grandfather. He's the cousin of your grandfather? Yeah, because we, we live in the same town here. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, nice little rock. He's been in this, uh, in this field for 50 years. 50 years More than here. 50 years. So he's been here wrapping sandwiches for 50 years. More? For us? Yep. 
Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that guy, it's beautiful. It's mm. incredible. Dude, I love it. And the bread. Yalla, yalla. We have three sandwiches. We have the goat labne. Mm -hmm. We have the halloumi. And we have the arishe, the arishe cream with honey. All look amazing. So one's like very sweet, obviously, because the honey, the other ones are more savory. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I hate saying this, but it reminds me of like a Greek salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not too salty, cheese. Mm -hmm. Tomato. Oh, is that there? Mm. Also, mint in here. It's so creamy. Whoa. Mm. Mm. Nice and thin. Not so layered, but that was a wrap. Super thin. Mm -hmm. And what do we have here? Orange juice. There's a local here, a factory of juice, Casati. I love it. They only sell it here. Cheers. Oh wow. They have this extra acidity that you don't find. It's amazing. Super tangy. Mm. Actually feels more like passion fruit over orange juice. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this thing is amazing. Gotta say, it's so creamy. So good. Whole thing already? Yeah. Oh wow. Mm. Alright. I'm gonna put this one down. I'm gonna try another one. Which one next? Halloumi cheese. Halloumi cheese. Fresh milk from the farms here. And uh, it's less salty than the usual. The, the balance. Cheers. Mm hmm. Mm. Definitely very different from the last one. Mm -hmm. Rodney is creamy. It's more like crumbly cheese. Mmm. Very similar to mozzarella. I think that's the best comparative in terms of cheese for me. Mm -hmm. Not too salty. And he didn't add any uh, mint or thyme in this one, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Amazing breakfast. He's, he's still funny. He's blowing me kisses, bro. What do we have in this one? The honey, right? Arisha and honey. Arisha. Arisha. It's like ashta cream. Okay. The cream is curd and it has more of a flaky texture. Let's do it. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 Super sweet. Oh, I love the honey, man. Mm. And it's local honey, for yeah. sure, right? Yeah. Not a combination between. Super soft cheese, mm. white cheese, mm. with honey. Oh, dude, I can eat this every day, every day. Are you sure? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, this is the best one for me. Mm. This one takes the cake. Sweet honey. You know, that's so all he did, right? Just that that cheese and the honey. Mm. But the two other ones were more like salads inside, right? Like more sandwiches. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Heaven. Amazing. This shop is one of the oldest. Mm -hmm. We started in the in the 60s. In the 60s. Oh look at this. It's coming out. Oozing out. Um, okay guys, finishing it up. Mm -hmm. We cannot leave any of these. The sweet one was awesome, but the original, the labni with the thyme and the mint. This is amazing. Yeah. Mm hmm. Like a fresh salad. So, in these shops, you can either get sandwiches or you can shop for products to take them on your way back. Like Labne, Shanklish, uh, Haloum, Akkewi cheese, dub double cream cheese. They have a lot of, they have a lot of products. Lovely. From $1 to $1.5 maximum. So, we spent like six. Six, but we ate a lot. <laughs> Usually, one sandwich is enough to fill you up. And yes, and yes. Merci, merci. <laughs> delicious, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Guys, you have to stop here on the way down to Baalbek. This is amazing. Thank you so much. The food is so spectacular. And if you guys want, buy some super real fresh honey. He also has ghee, he has 
this incredible bread so you can take all this home. And yeah, that's basically it. Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> Ci vediamo dopo. Oh Sorry, speaking other languages here. Hey, hello, hello, good? Hello, good. Freddy, ciao, ciao, ciao. Ci vediamo, bye, bye. Let's do it. Yeah, that was amazing. What a great spot. And these are all the different ones he has, right? Labne, halum, labne with chevre. Arishe, shalale, nabilsi, types of cheese. All right, dude, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> That was amazing. Wow. So good. I'm full. This is the start. We just left Stura and we're going to Taneil uh, Park and Farms. They raise uh, many cows there uh, to produce milk. So they can also, they're also a famous uh, Labne brand in Lebanon, Labne cheese brand. And that's it, huh? Yep. We made it here to the park and over here to the left we have a monastery. Monastery. They, uh, they are the ones who work uh, and do and produce the the milk they take care of the cows exactly they make labne cheese going to the park now and to the farm it costs ten thousand per person so we pay twenty thousand roughly one dollar at this moment yeah half a dollar per ticket we just walked for about 15 minutes down this beautiful path as you can see it is winter so all the trees are dead it's a little slushy because it was snowing recently and at the very end we have this beautiful lake we have some ducks very nice peaceful and on the right we have a vineyard so they make wine in the area uh, Bekaa Valley is mostly famous uh, for wine uh, we have more than 20 25 wineries around here no way yeah so plenty of vineyards the lake Chilling, chilling place, Tanay Park. Yeah, and behind us, you can see, look at the mountains. Mm -hmm. They're covered in snow. This is like one of the, I guess, coldest winters since 93, you said, right? Since 93, they haven't seen so much snow in the area here. And the mountains, of course, but in the area here, it's crazy. Fun. Yalla, yalla. Right here, we have the map of the area. So this is the monastery. That's where we are right now. We just went all the way to the lake. So there's two different routes. The one on the left, that's where all the trees are. Very beautiful path. And then you come back on the right and you pass all the vineyards and the mountains. All right, let's continue. Surprise, we're going to the factory. What are we gonna see here? We're gonna see how they make labne. Oh yeah? Yep. Bern, how are you doing? Fine, how are you, good? Ready to go, yeah. yeah. It smells great. You can smell the... Yeah. Here used to be the, uh, the old showroom. Okay. Here. Yeah, okay. It has been here for over 30 years or 35 years. Uh, now we renovated and we moved on to uh, the new place uh, where you guys were sitting. Nice. Yeah. I'm lucky. I don't need a hair now. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie, we wear it like this. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Let's go. Yalla, yalla. Yeah. Okay, we go. We're entering the factory now. Uh, the oh. factory. This is where we store our products. Okay. Uh, here we have the dispatch area. This is where we receive the raw materials. This is where we uh, do the shipments to Zahle, to Beirut. There was a time we used to ship to, uh, to Qatar and Dubai. Uh, now it's uh, because of the policies. You see, the fridge is pretty small. The reason for that is because they literally send everything out daily. They store it, the next day it's gone, right? Amazing. Oh, I need to try some of this, man. <laughs> we'll try some fresh ones. Uh, this is the, the operation room, if you would like to say, okay? Uh, here we have uh, the packaging officer, he's called Ibrahim. He's been working here for around six years. Uh, he works uh, alone, solo, on all of the products. He is responsible for uh, maintaining the quality standards to ensure that uh, all the products are clean, they don't have leakage, they are not spoiled, which is something that never happened, but he keeps an eye on it. He's, uh, he's working in. This is produced yesterday, this is called Duble Creme. Duble Creme. Uh, he is putting it in vacuum bags so we can ship them to the showroom in order to be uh, safe. Amazing. If you want, uh, I can show you how we can how we fill the labne. You know, we don't use an, a, a machine or so. He fills it with, uh, with his bare hands. And he can get it 530 grams from just one or two spoons. Would you like to see it? Of course, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah. He like nailed it. Yeah, yeah. 525, huh? Yeah. He fills around every day, around, I think, 50 kilos or 60, oh. 60 kilos like this. 60 kilos like this yeah, every day? Yeah, with his hand, that, like this. There is no machine, there is no equipment. There's oh, no he hand. nails it. Yeah. <laughs> How did he do that? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Each uh, batch has uh, is followed with a number. This is one seven four nine one. 
Okay. Yeah, this is the factory. It's, it's, it has been like this for around 50 years, but it has been established here, established since, since I think 1983 or 82. It's like we are mixing the traditional way with new equipment to get the best product for the customer. We have two shifts of work. We work in the afternoon as Iyad, he is a production officer. His shift is in the morning. He comes and works with uh, this milk. So this right above me, that's the basically the milk line. It comes from where the cows are. It comes straight in, and then over here, this is the new one. Yeah. And then this is the, this is later. This yeah. is treated. And this is where we make the cheese. This can uh, we, we we make around 20 kinds of cheese. We used to make a lot less, but we are, as I said, we are renovating and we are developing. And this is where we, we're gonna cut the cheese right now. The incubation rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's very hot. Creamy texture on the top. Mm -hmm. This is the fat. We have very dense fat milk. Very. That's why we uh, we, we have such great products. Yeah. They say those cows produce a lot of fat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Wow. Yeah, so I mean, it is steaming in here. So it's, yeah. it's 45. So it's like 100 and something degrees, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. 30 yeah. is 100. So it's a little higher yeah. than that. So this is where we make cheese. Here comes the whey. We boil the whey to make uh, what is called arishi and double creme, which also we saw. Yeah, this is where arishi, uh, halloum gets boiled, uh, akewi cheese, mozzarella, uh, ashawin. We are also, we, we tried a trial of edam, of uh, provolone. We are going into the, the yellow cheese world mm. and keeping it traditional. Right, so we just explored the whole factory. Now we're going to try some cheese. Maybe some gouda? Well, let's try. Let's try. Oh man. Lebanese Gouda. This is new. Lebanese Gouda. First time I heard of this. Yeah. I think this is a, a little big. I don't know. A little big. No, yeah. it's, never, it's never too big. Let's see big. how much he eats. Mmm. <laughs> oh, whoa. Yeah. So good. Yeah. So fresh. That was made yesterday? Uh, no, this is aged Gouda. This is, aged Gouda. Uh, I think it's uh, three months. Three months? Three months, yeah. You can't sell Gouda without ripening. It mm. needs to be fermented. That's why. Wow. My friends, this is phenomenal. Yeah. Mm. Nice. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's dense. It tastes exactly like yeah, gouda. Yeah, it's uh, every kilo of gouda needs 25 kilos of milk. Oh. That's why it's very high fat, uh, high fat content and very high protein uh, count. Yeah. Gouda and eggs. Yeah. For you my friends. And you melt them on top of <laughs> eggs. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh wow, <laughs> what an amazing Gouda. Oh my god, inside the shirt. The shirt loves it. <laughs> so it's Thank a pleasure you. meeting you. Merci, merci. Yeah. Thank welcome, you so much. Appreciate welcome. it. Ahlo, sahlo, people. Well, that was a surprise. So unexpected, huh? Yeah. Amazing cheese factory. Ooh. Cheese and Lebni factory. Dude, I'm full off the Gouda. <laughs> yeah, the Gouda was fatty. <laughs> super fatty, super dense, delicious. Now we're going to Zahle. Zahle, yes. Let's do Zahle. We're going to see some attractions. We're going to try some food. Beautiful town in the middle of Bika Valley. We're almost in Zahle. We're gonna visit the most famous winery in Zahle Xara, one of the best Lebanese wines, and have a nice tour there. Here we go. Sara. Sara Caves de Sara. The best winery in the in the town, right? In Zahle. In Zahre. Zahre. City, not a town. When you come to the winery, you could do a cave tour. It costs a 40,000, right? But we highly recommend you try some wines. They have three different options. Heritage, 70,000. Icon, 150,000. And Cellar, 200,000. We're going with the three, the Heritage, because we're limited with time, and we really just want to try some wines and see the caves. We have the white, the rosé, perfect for summer, and the red, with the steak. Let's try the white. Great, with snacks, aperitif. Mm. Oh, very tasty. Very light. Mm, super light, this one. So while we were trying some wines, they put on a short documentary. It was eight minutes long, and it gave us the history of the winery. They've been producing wine since 1857. And this is the oldest winery in Lebanon, the oldest. Rosé, perfect. Served uh, as cold by the beach. <laughs> Mm. All right, so let me try this one. Mm. Oh, nice, chilled. Mm. Super fruity. And what's next? Red? Red one. Red is spicy, fruity, medium body, not full bodied. You can see a bit through. Mm. Perfect. Cheers. <laughs> Happy 2022. Here we go. 
Mm. Mm. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, very nice. Mm, yeah, it's, it's medium body, so it's perfect with like a steak. A cherry. Cherry and strawberry. Very mm. fruity. Oh, it's amazing. It knows it's spicy. And it's 2019, so it's three years old already. Yalla, yalla, let's go. You good? Enjoy your visit. Thank you so much. Welcome. Hey guys. So here they discovered that there's a cave below the winery and it dates back to the Roman times they believed it was a prison and it's like eight meters below ground the oldest uh, wine bottles they keep them as a treasure and they only sell them in auction you have some wines dating back to 1818 Wow and look at this tunnels never end so you just have massive tunnels lots of barrels like hundreds and hundreds of barrels and this was found by chance. They followed a fox down into the cave that was taking chickens down to her young. Cave, as you can see, thousands of barrels. They're all from Bur Bordeaux, right? They're French Bordeaux oak. The winery produces 3 million bottles a year, which is a third of the production in the country. And then of that, 60% are kept within Lebanon, 40% are exported. exported. To, to some countries, yeah. Once you're done touring the winery, definitely come here to their store and buy some wine. They have a wide range. I mean, they have so many different bottles. How many different bottles do you guys have? For sale? Yeah. A lot, right? A lot, but old vintages. I'm going to show you old vintages in the cave. Old vintages? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a secret place, it's a huh? secret, yeah. She's gonna lock yeah. us in? Yeah, I you think so. Yeah, lot of wine. Yeah, uh -huh. Yalla, yalla. Come in, please, and enjoy your visit to see our old wall. Oh, wow. No one gets in here. This is the VIP tour. It is. Thank you so much. Whoa, a million bottles here, huh? So which bottle are we opening up? Uh, don't touch any bottle. <laughs> <laughs> sell them in the auction. They sell some of these in the auction, and a lot of them date back over 80 years, right? The oldest starts from 1918. 104 years. Yes. Look at how many bottles there are here. It's never a ending. Of collections, a lot of old bottles, mainly red wine, as you see. Guys, look at this. Look like how many bottles. And look, they still and the have like. Bottles are like a reference to, oh. to, okay, to remember us later on the kind, the year, the point, each place. Yeah, so each number go. here is a reference, so they remember. True. Sweet this. wines made by the monks, these? Wow. This fungus. With the f I know, that's what I'm saying. It's like so old, but you can see the, it does. You the can fungus. See it. You can feel it. All right, let me go find a bottle for my dad. Really fast. Yeah. Let's go, yalla, yalla. So good. This good one, right? It's good? Okay, for my father. Sure. Hey, merci. Daniel. Let's go. Yep. Yalla, yalla. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You're Thank you, merci. Welcome. Chokran. Welcome. Ciao, Bye. ciao. Nico, how far is the lady? Two minutes away. From the lady, we can see the entire city overlooking all the mountains. Obviously right now it's a little wet, a little muggy. We're starting to get the shot. Why not, right? Right there we have the lady. The very top, it's a tower. You can go all the way to the top if you want to and get better views. We don't really need to, we can just see it from here. And this is the Lady of Zahe, and unfortunately it is closed. So we missed it by what, like half an hour? Oh, winter time is closed. Well, I mean, that's it, right? That's the tower, come here in summer, because from there you get awesome views. Right now it's closed. There's a small chapel right here. You can light a candle. Here you have like a, you know, the Virgin Mary right there. That's it, right? We're gonna go to Tablit Masad, famous for the tablier, which means like a wooden plate. They serve some chicken or beef sandwiches on top with some meze in a nice setup. Really famous here. Also the family, I guess they had problems and one of the family members opened another one and named it also Tablit Mas'ad. So like Falafel Sahayoun, we have Tablit Mas'ad family fight. So go to the correct one, go to this one. The original one. The original. Here we go, Mas'ad. Hello, hello. How you doing, good? Good. Oh yes, we're hungry. I'm hungry. Yalla, All right, here we go. Doom. Garlic sauce? Yes. Some pickles? Cabbies. Oh, cabbage. Pickles. Pickles. Potato. 
So some french fries. Yeah, french fries. Uh, Over here with the chicken. So chicken skewers, like chicken kebabs, right? Beautiful, with charcoal. Thanks. Hummus. Hummus. This is for the tabriye, the wooden plate. Mm-hmm. Stone. Beautiful. Coleslaw. Coleslaw. Some white radish or turnip? Oh, okay, turnip. Left. turnip. 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 Pickles. Okay. Tomato. Urashit as it. <laughs> paprika. Oh, paprika? Oh, no. Oh, wow. So, what are you doing there? Special one. Oh, with sesame seeds too? So, special sauce and sesame seeds? Look at those. They're amazing. Looks so good. And then he's getting the fries. Some salt. Perfect. And it mixes it up, right? You just did this chicken off the grill. Now he's gonna put it into this, right? He has some garlic sauce, right? Beautiful. Some pickles, right? He has some french fries and then takes off the chicken, right? Perfect. And then he rolls them up. Yeah. I haven't seen this done before. Basically, they put the chicken into the bread, right? So into the wrap. And then they put it back on here onto the charcoal. They grill it, they heat it up, and then they put it down, they cut it, and then put it onto the wood board. Very, very different. I've never seen this done before here in Lebanon. Look at that. Beautiful. Awesome. Look at that, guys. What a beautiful board. This is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be great. Oh, yes, yes. And french fries too, huh? Oh, it looks so good. It looks ridiculous. Where are we going? Where are we going? This guy's too wild. He's like, you have to see something. Oh, tamule! Yeah. We're gonna have a salad. Amazing. Love it. Diced parsley. Oh, a tomato. Mm -hmm. So he's chopping the tomato, right? Finely chopped. Yeah, that's the best thing about tamule, right? Super finely chopped. Perfect. Add onions. Yeah. Perfect. Onion. And you're gonna add some lime juice. Lime juice, yeah. Lime juice always, yeah. That's what makes this so good. Put one sauce. Walnut sauce. And then some salt. Yeah. Perfect. Beautiful, look at that. That salad is so good. It's gonna be the best tabbouleh ever. Mm, with this walnut sauce. Oh, too good. Gonna get the pita, okay. What are we doing here? Like that. Oh my God, wow. Mm. Oh, it was amazing. Mm. Parsley, tomato, onion, lime juice, with that walnut sauce. Mm. My man, amazing. Guys, this is it. Finally, the tablier masad. This is tablier, right? So the board. You have hummus, garlic, uh, garlic sauce, um, coleslaw, pickles, tomato, turnip, french fries, to, uh, traditional Lebanese. Mm hmm. And right here, oh yeah, the sandwich. Just dip into the garlic sauce. Wow. It already has garlic sauce inside. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, super, bro. Mmm. Lots of garlic. Oh, so many different layers. French fries inside. Basically, everything you have here is inside as well. Yep. Mmm. I'm so fresh. Oh my gosh, man. The garlic sauce is the best though. Mm -hmm. Super crunchy. Mm -hmm. I love the bread with sesame seeds. Secret sauce on top. Mm. Look at that layer. Dude, this is too good. I'm gonna combine the hummus and the garlic. Why not? You can actually. Amazing. Mm. I'll steam one. Look at that. And next to it we have tabbouleh. Oh, and I love this one because he added like a walnut paste. Mm-hmm. Mm. Such a refreshing salad. Oh, so good. Lemon zest, tomatoes, parsley, onions. I won't stop with this. This is my favorite salad on earth. Mm-hmm. Mm. You guys have to visit this place. So delicious. Unique concept, I love it. Everything on the board. Literally everything that's in here is inside here. 
The chicken with the pickle, the overall garlic, so fresh hummus, super delicious garlic. One last one, I'm gonna take it down. I have to, just like that. I'll combine it, hummus and garlic. If you want to, just add a little bit of french fries on top. Mm -hmm. mm. It's happiness on our board. I'm so happy. Look at my face. One of these boards is uh, for 72,000, which is like three and a half dollars now. Thank you, thank bye you, bye, bye. bye. Oh, more? No, no, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Thanks guys, thank you. Bye, bye, bye. take care. Woo. Ready to go home? Let's go home. All right guys, so we were gonna go to an ice cream place, but it got too late. It's 5.30 already, as you can see, it's pitch dark. And that was our tour of Sturan <laughs> Zahe. We had incredible sandwiches at his grandfather's cousin's house. Then we went to the park. We saw the cheese factory. Then we went to the winery. We saw the tabla. I mean, amazing spot. Good day. And this is in between Beirut and Baalbek. So you can do all this plus Baalbek in one day, one full day. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere in Lebanon. Let's go.